Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, joined by the five foot wonder, Joseph Nello. We're here with the GMC 84. X this time. You may have saw the other video with Vanna White over here with this Sierra Denali Ultimate, but this is the AT4X. We thought we'd do a quick walk around on this vehicle, kind of show you the new things. I'll reference a video above that Phil put in the link where I saw this at a design center in Michigan. First time I've seen it out in the wild because I really want to see this desert sand metallic, metallic. in the wild. Yes. And this is what it looks like. So it's kind of interesting. We have an interesting uh, background here. You can kind of see how it matches the terrain. Looks pretty cool. Uh, the biggest thing to notice with this is different grill, right? This is set up for the AT4X. We have a little badge. Badge. And then you have the red GMC. Right, red GMC, red tow hooks, because you got to have red tow hooks. On an off-road vehicle, apparently red tow hooks are the thing. And apparently you need tow hooks. <coughs> Toyota. Um, <laughs> so we have the uh, fog lamps have been moved. We do, it's a different, it's different from here down basically. And then this is the new signature here. I'm sorry, different from here down on the new 2022 models. New signature here. Everything else about the same going back. 6.2 liter V8 is the only option. Um, we do have the... AT4X badges in there. We don't need no stinking badges, but we have plenty of badges. We need badges. We need badges. We need badges. Um, this is, was a prototype step rail I saw, a rock rail, and it's got an interesting texture to it. You actually still use it as a way to get in and out of the vehicle as a step, but it also does protect the body from damage off-road. So it's got like a combo thing. Uh, we have unique wheels, Some right? gloss black here. Gloss black. We have the Multimatic DSSB shocks back there. I think the suspension is a little bit different in this truck. Off top of my head. Again, top of my head there. Um, we do have oh, a bigger step here because look, we have look, look, I can look, look, two look. feet here two instead feet. of just one. <laughs> right? Uh, no super cruise. So no you have the cruise. longer um, foothold there because you don't have super cruise. And then the one thing I was pointing out to Jill, which I thought was interesting, is look, the muffler now sits behind the bumper instead of the chrome inserts like the HDMI inserts. I mean, the chrome inserts. You've seen the meme about HDMI, you'll, you'll be laughing right now. Anyways, the, the usually comes through right here and you have a chrome insert for the bump, for the uh, exhaust, but they found they were breaking that exhaust. They were snapping it off-road, so they moved that muffler up and put it inside the bumper. So it's actually the same distance, now you can see from here, of the spare tire. So it doesn't hang down low anymore. Yeah. There was a song there, I think, how low can you go or hang low, I don't <laughs> right, know. Right, right, right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, moving along to the cabin, um, we have Jill's far forward seating position. Uh, real quick, payload. No judging. Uh, 1334 payload, max towing is 9,000 pounds conventional tra trailer. So a little bit less payload than other vehicles, but this is an off-road trip, so you don't typically have much payload because all these different options to it. Um, the interior is going to be the same as the AT4, or oh, excuse me, the Denali Ultimate. Kind little of. changes, little yes. changes. So we do have the stitching, stitching here. Different color though. It's got red versus the Denali Ultimate. It's got the same um, color combo both ways. Well, so I wonder, um, and, and it it's doesn't the have the stitching on the seat, whereas the Denali Ultimate had it on the seat. So it has it on the door panels. It doesn't have it on the seat. You also have a different um, nothing. Here, it's a pattern, but it right, doesn't right. mean anything. I thought it was something, <laughs> but they told me it was nothing. And then, but you can see the red red inserts here, uh, the red stitching here too. And then yeah. we have the same thing. I just feel like it'd be cool if they could tell me this is something like Morse code for some destination somewhere. <laughs> uh, AT4X on the badge there, and the same interior. Which, um, again, we should we should totally have you get in there, Vanna. Okay. And show them the interior. Hey, and you know what else it has? It has a grab handle right here. Um, I want to point out on some of my videos, I've said, I've, I've like dinged vehicles that don't have a grab handle here. And people are like, well, you know, it's because the side airbags are there. And I'm like, other manufacturers figure it out. <laughs> so General Motors figured it out. There is a grab handle here. Yeah. Yeah, but wait, wait, wait. I still want the over and under. How are you going to get in this vehicle? Because you, uh, oh, it's a little bit taller. Easy. This is easy. Yeah, that's easy. Okay. That's easy. I mean, I could even have gone like this, by the way, because there's a grab handle. I didn't need the rack rail. <laughs> All right. Hold the camera. I'm going to get around the passenger side. Okay. So start her up and do your thing. <laughs> okay, that 
That was like a weird little startup sound there. I was like, dur, 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 dur. I thought I was gonna like launch into the Saints Go Marching In <laughs> for a <laughs> moment there. I was like, what? What was that? Dur, 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 dur. I don't know. Okay. It did not have the startup graphic that I noticed, um, and it probably was just because I, yeah, I, we, we had the door open or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, let's let's go ahead and talk about this interior a little bit. So we have the bigger screen, which is all 22, refreshed 22s, not the uh, limited, Sierra Limited. That's what you're talking about. They had the older screen. This mm -hmm. newer screen, big startup button. We have the HVAC controls, look at stuff there. Uh, no sunglass holder and no panoramic moonroof. Two, two things that I find a little odd. We do have some storage in here, though. I didn't show this other one. Yeah, we have CB radio, too, so we can call our homies. Uh, that's going to be for off-road uses. The, the off-road tomorrow. Breaker, breaker. I, I don't even know, like, what was it, Smokey and the Bear or Bandit, Bandit or whatever. Yes. I break, this is this is Smokey. I, I don't know. I got nothing. I'm gonna. I, and I did not press the button because I would have somebody like <laughs> say, come back at me, and I'd be like, ah, I don't know what to do. Uh, um, Google-based operating system. We're gonna move along here. Uh, <laughs> lots of stuff you can go back and forth. Do we, we don't have? Excuse me. Um, I I will point out you've got um, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. I was looking for. Oh, I do yeah, have, massage. have massage. I know. I'm massage. like totally, I'm like, I'm totally yeah. turning that on. And then we have on. the we have the adjustable seats, uh, 16 way adjustable seats. We have the the different screen there. Uh, Seventy five thousand seven hundred dollars is your but starting retail price. Seven actually with destination and um, the paint because every single paint color has a premium to it. So you can't. There are no free paint colors here. Yeah, I, I would say this is probably an eighty thousand dollar truck around there all day long by the time you get tax and stuff paid it, up. It's literally 70. 77. 77. Uh, at that point, are we really going to talk about... 77, 940. And that's that's with um, the premium paint and the destination, which by the way, again, you can't not have premium paint. And I did mean the double negative there. Right, but uh, yeah. all right, anyways, moving along. We do have the uh, <laughs> shifter there, the console shifter, and we have some... Um, Pedal shifters, and yeah, so it's basically like I said, a basic AT4 taking the next level, which is why the X is there, Jill. X <laughs> doesn't mark the spot, <laughs> right? So we'll have more of this truck, including driving impressions, that stuff coming in later down the road. Um, but yeah, that's what we have for this. Yeah, it's cool, I think. Oh, yeah. it, it's literally cool because somebody set their uh, HVAC to 68. <laughs> Whereas you'll notice mine is at 75 and I'm turning my heated seats on to go with my massagers. Maybe. Oh, no, I'm not turning on my heated seat. Never mind. <laughs> it's a prototype, but eagle. It so, is. Prototype. Pre-production. Pre-production. All right, there you go. There's the details on the AT4X. Oh, by the way, I forgot. Manual locking rear and front instead of the GB80 or G80, which is their uh, automatic locking differential. You can manually lock the front or the rear. And the more you know. All right, dun, 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 dun. there's there's all the details I got for you in this 84X. Uh, other videos over here, website down below. As always, thanks for watching. We will see you down the road. <laughs>